Welcome to this special Catholic Mass, streamed via the internet from St. Stephen's Catholic Church in Melbourne, Australia. I am Joe McNamara and a member of the National Committee of the Apostle Ship of the Sea, Stella Maris, Australia. This Mass has been arranged to bring us all together in this difficult time of social isolation those of us who minister to and support seafarers, centre managers, chaplains, committee members, ship visitors and other volunteers who through their work visit our Australian ports. Some of you may be joining us from Adelaide, Bell Park, Bunbury, Bell Bay, Albany, Fremantle, Newcastle, Sydney, Mackay, Melbourne, Hastings and Brisbane, as well, the, as well as other locations where port chaplains may be working. You may even be joining us from overseas. Wherever you are joining us, welcome. And to any of our ecumenical sisters and brothers, a warm welcome to you also. Today's Mass will be celebrated by Bishop Bosco Putha, Bishop Promoter of the Australian Apostleship of the Sea, and we come together today to employ God's love and protection during these challenging times due to COVID-19, which is impacting on all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to God, Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that I, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our God. Our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the praise of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and to gain followers. Barnabas and Saul completed their task and came back from Jerusalem, bringing John Mark with them. In the church at Antioch, the following were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene. Menin, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul... One day, while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast, the Holy Spirit said, I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them. So it was that after fasting and prayer, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So these two, sent on their mission by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. They landed at Salamis and proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. John acted as their assistant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The responsorial psalm. O oh God, let all nations praise you. O oh God, let, let all, all nations, nations praise, praise you. O oh God, be gracious and bless us. And let your face shed light, its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your saving help. O oh God, o God let, let all nations, nations praise, praise you. you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. O oh oh God, God, let, let all, all nations, nations praise, praise you. you. Let the peoples praise you. O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. O oh God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. you. of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus declared publicly, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in the one who sent to me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I, the light, have come into the world so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark anymore. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall condemn him. Since I have come not to condemn the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The word itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For what I have spoken does not come from myself. No, what I was to say, what I had to speak, was commanded by the Father who sent to me. And I know that his commands mean eternal life. And therefore, what the Father told me is what I speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, this online celebration of the Holy Eucharist is being offered for the intentions of the chaplains, center managers, committee members, and volunteers of Stella Mary Sundays of the Apostleship of the Sea of Australia. Let us implore divine protection or all Stella Mary's workers we thank the Lord for your wonderful work, especially during these difficult times. We pray for all seafarers around the world. We remember those who have died and offer our prayers for everyone impacted by the pandemic. Dear friends, today's gospel passage presents, according to John, Jesus' last words of public teaching. Hereafter, he will teach his disciples, and then he will stand trial before Pilate. Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in the one who sent to me. Jesus makes this claim, which is the basis of his whole life, that in him, men are confronted with God. To listen to Jesus is to listen to God. To see him is to see God. In him, God meets man, and man meets God. If you want to know God, look at Jesus. God is Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I, 
the light have come into the world so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark anymore. Here, John comes back to what he had already said in the epilogue, in the beginning of his gospel. The word was the real light that gives light to everyone. The light shines in darkness and darkness could not overpower it. Jesus further says, I have not come to condemn the world. Here, the evangelist clarifies the theme of judgment. The judgment is not done according to threats, with maledictions. Jesus says, if anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall condemn him. Since I have come not to condemn the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The word itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. Judgment consists in the way in which the person defines himself through his choices and actions in relation to Jesus. Always within the Gospel of John, there is this essential paradox. Jesus came in love. Yet, his coming is a judgment. Jesus is both a stepping stone and a stumbling block at the same time. Jesus is God's touchstone. By a man's attitude to Jesus, he himself stands revealed. Dear friends, let us ask ourselves what is the most significant message of Jesus to us? The answer is, it is the message of love. Let us consider our own attitude to Jesus and to his message of love. Remember, Jesus, who said that he is the light of the world, has further said that you are the light of the world. Yes, we are the light of the world. We have to become the light of the world through our loving service. Yes, we are to be the lighthouse that leads others to the harbor of hope. Finally, let's pray to Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, the star of the sea, to intercede on behalf of all of us before her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As the COVID-19 pandemic 
sweeps around the world, we return to God confident that he will answer all our prayers and needs. We pray for the church, to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our bishops, priests and deacons, and for all the chaplains, ship visitors and volunteers, working for the apostleship of the sea. May they always trust in the loving compassion and mercy of our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. We pray for all those in positions of power and authority in the world, the governments and the politicians. May they use their influence to uphold the rights of seafarers and protect all the vulnerable and the needy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all seafarers suffering from loneliness and fear and unable to enjoy any time on shore. May Jesus, who calmed the sea, bring all seafarers safely to port and return them to their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for all those cruise ship passengers and crew affected by COVID-19. May they hear the voice of Jesus, who is always with us, in our hour of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who work in Stella Mara seafarer centres. May they find new ways of helping seafarers who are confined to their ships or who have brought ashore suffering from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those seafarers who have died after contracting COVID-19 on the Ruby Princess, the Artania and other cruise ships. May they find everlasting peace in the Kingdom of Heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We now invoke the intercession of our Blessed Lady, Star of the Sea, as we say, Hail Mary. Full, full of, of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 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 and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Father, we bring you these our petitions, confident in the knowledge that you will hear and answer our prayers, which we make through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, how made us partakers of one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. All the times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ therefore overcome with Paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Peter, Bishop of the church, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in, in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to cohere to the eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, before me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways 
to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, a word of thanks to all who have uh, helped this service. The parish priest of this church and Father Matthew, Joe McNamara, Janine Kent, Leanne and Gladys Sebastian, Denise and the online technicians, and all those who have watched and participated in the Holy Mass, both in Australia and abroad. A big thanks. We are the Easter people. Jesus gave us hope. We are not to be afraid of anything. We can overcome with his grace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and joy. Thanks be to God. Most pure.